Hello everyone. Uh welcome to Beware. Welcome back to Beware anyway. Um So uh I decided to create a mod for the game. And uh I've been working on it for a little over a week now. Uh but that's simply because I'm not very good at Unity or um C sharp. Uh basically. Uh I created this mod as a quality of life mod. Um, just for a few little uh, tricks to basically help you uh, either investigate the game or to get unstuck in those kind of scenarios. So, um, the first modification I did, and you probably already noticed already, was that the dashboard is always lit up, regardless of what state the headlights are in so um, i did this because i didn't like not being able to see the dash when it was dark so i made it slightly more illuminated when it w when the headlights were off so you could still see it and then uh when you turn the headlights on it gets brighter another mod i did so you will occasionally flip over and uh if you're playing the stop game there's nothing you can do to unflip. You just either have to wait until you die or you restart. What I did was I made it so if the escape menu is open and you press R, the car resets its position and rotates. So, let's see. Let's say I go and flip. If you flip and the car is not moving, you can press escape and press R and the car's rotation will reset and you will be teleported into the air by a little bit. Now, I do have a warning with this. If you press R multiple times, you will fly up into the sky and you can die from fall damage. Also, uh, another thing you probably noticed, the death screen says rip instead of just saying death before. Um, I've died so many times in Beware that I got uh, kind of annoyed at the death screen, so it's just like, eh. I bet I could probably change that, and I ended up changing it to say rip instead of death, so it's not really a quality of life thing, it's just something I wanted to. Another thing that I added is you can change the FOV of the car camera. So, um, by default, I believe it's 60, which is like right around here. Uh, you can press P to increase it, and you can press O to decrease it. It is at a limited range, so you can only chain, you can only go down to a smaller FOV of 30, and you can go up to an FOV of 120. And that's just to make sure the camera doesn't break, because if you change the FOV too much, the camera will actually invert. But yeah, so you can change the field of view inside of the car. Uh, another thing I did is um, Roka Josh's, or Roka Josh, however he pronounces his name. I'm pretty sure it's Roka Josh. But uh, I basically added his walk mod for 001 into my mod. Now, um, all credits go to him for this mod, basically, because he coded the entire thing. Uh, and I just went and found his mod and looked at the code that he changed and basically just copied it over. So I hope he doesn't mind if he sees this video, but I, uh, I wanted to add it in because it's a cool feature. Um, but with the walk mod, you can press N to no clip and you can scroll to change the no clip speed. Um, I haven't added the cinematic mode yet uh, for the no clip camera uh i'm planning on doing that next uh but while while you are in no clip you can press t to teleport the car that's another mod that roka josh made so uh you can press t to teleport the car uh in case you get stuck say out here in the in the swampy marsh you can uh no clip go back up to the road and press t while looking at it and it will teleport the car to it. Um, another thing you can do is you can walk by pressing M. Uh, 
this is just the standard walk mod that uh, Rook have made. Uh, I also fixed his code a teeny bit. So in his 001 version of his mod, if you press N and then press M to go into walk mode, you would start walking right here uh, while you were still in no clip mode. Um, so I have fixed that. Uh, and it's the same thing when you press M and then N. Uh, you used to no clip and it would actually return to full clip R, I believe. Uh, but I fixed it, so that's another thing that I fixed. Uh, also, instead of pressing U and Z to go up and down, you press space and control to move up and down. I figured that, uh, because we were disabled, so in the mod it basically disables the car's movement or its gearbox. Um, and Z is just, Z is shift. So Z is shift down, but, uh, it doesn't really matter because it's disabled once you go into no clip. Um, but yeah, I changed it to space and control instead of Q and Z. And, uh, that's basically it for the mod right now. Um, I will have a link in the description if you want to download it. Uh, future i hunts here so we're going to be talking about how to install the actual mod um now i am on ubuntu uh 22.04 i believe but uh the premise is still the same you will just download uh you will just download the file the mod and it will be in a zip folder much like this one right here it should say quality of life mod by Ihunts. It'll be this one. So uh, we're just gonna pretend I downloaded it. Now it's in my downloads. And we want to navigate to our, well first before we do that, what we wanna do is we want to find a good spot for this. Um, so I'm just going to pretend that I moved it to my mods folder. Uh, but then what you would do is you would right click on it and you would extract on Windows. In Linux you have to open with Archive Manager and then just drag this out. But I already have it out here so I don't need to do that. Um, but you would get this folder. And then once you get that folder there is an assembly in here. And there is a readme. Now the readme basically just covers everything uh, that I talked about in this video. Uh, also the current mod version who created the uh, Roka created the walk mod and also the teleport mod, which was uh, actually for 007, but I ported it to 001 because it's a cool feature. Um, but what you would want to do is you would want to right click on this assembly C sharp and you will copy it to your beware folder. So your beware folder, your data folder your managed folder and then you will paste it in here now I've already I already have the mod installed so I don't need to do this but uh, you will click replace on the little prompt that shows up Windows will have a similar prompt you should also click replace um, but once that's done uh, your mod is successfully installed um, anyways back to the video uh, well, I thank you for watching this video um, if you did enjoy it, you can like it. Uh, if you really enjoyed it, you can subscribe to me because I make content like this. Um, whenever I want, I guess. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.